Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Wait and See. I am Casey Green, and I am joined by Marshall hey. and Paulina. Hi. How's it going, guys? Good. Doing great. All right. You guys are looking fit and fabulous. I love it. Um, today, I want to talk about something that was intriguing to me during my journey, and that was um, things that I began to do and that I began to enjoy doing, I guess I should say, after the weight started coming off. Before my weight came off, I mean, I was arguably the world's best couch potato. I could have like majored in it. I could have gotten an award in it. Um, and really, I didn't have any desire to do anything physical, to go hang out outside of my house. Um, it just wasn't something I was comfortable with. Um, I didn't love the way that I looked. I didn't love the way that I felt. If it was summertime, I was going to be too hot and sweaty. And like, I just didn't want any piece of it. So what I want to talk about with you guys today is since you've started your journey, now, you're about six months in, uh, Marshall, about six months in, maybe a little more. Paulina, you're about the same, same spot, but we rebooted you, so you're a couple months in. Um, and you're both making wonderful progress, right? Um, so I want to talk to you a little bit about the things you're doing now that just a few months ago, you're like, nah, hard pass. Yeah. Absolutely hard pass. Because it really is intriguing what a couple months will do. Um, Ryan and I like to talk all the time about, um, I remember when we were working out at Bucked Up, there was a moment I looked at him and I said, I think we were down 40 or 45 pounds in, in I don't know, three or four months, um, 16 weeks. We were 16 weeks in, so four months. And I said, I can't believe we were only 16 weeks away from like feeling way better about life, right? Um, and so frequently we'll look at each other and we're like, man, we were only a couple of weeks away from whatever, right? Um, and now that you guys are into it a handful of weeks, um, I'm actually gonna start with you, Marshall, mm -hmm. and ask you, what are some of those things that you're doing now that a handful of like weeks or months ago you would have gone, <laughs> Yeah. Hard pass. Yeah. So I have a few of them. Um, you know, one that I've probably the one that I do the most now is, is play basketball. Okay. Right? Um, growing up, um, I loved, I used to love playing one-on-one -on -one basketball with my little brother. Um, what do you say? Little or older? Little. Little brother. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. Just, my little brother. I don't know why that's yeah, important. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. I didn't know what you said. Yeah. My little brother. I mean, up, he's little not brother? little. I mean, he's 28. 29 29 he's 29 okay right so he's not little but like i'm still i mean i was always bigger than him I'm, i got like an inch on him okay. and several pounds okay. on him still um but but yeah we used to always play you know you know pick up basketball in our backyard we had a basketball hoop we would play there for a lot growing up um and you know he lives nearby and we have a rec center nearby and so um you know, he was always been somebody who always motivated me to try and get in shape. And he would always, we'd always go on nighttime walks. We used to do the nighttime walks and we've transitioned that to being nighttime pickup basketball now. Cool. We kind of like going stuff back into that childhood element of it. And it's been really fun. And it, what's been interesting this time around though, is since he sees me being somebody who's more like health conscious and trying to build and trying to get better at things. Um, the thing that he's doing differently is he's actually been coaching me because okay. he's actually a very good basketball player. He, he, could have played in college, but he chose not to. He kind of wanted to be done. He got burned out in high school. But like he, uh, he's been coaching me. He's like, he's like, like, okay, oh, you could defend it a little bit better this way. And he's like coaching my shot. And at the end, he'll like, he'll, we'll finish playing the game. Like, you know what? We're gonna do a drill. We're gonna go up and do, you know, we're gonna do twenty times back and forth. And we're gonna have to hit every layup. If you miss one, you start over. He just, kinda, it's been, it's been fun, right? But like, that's something like I would have never called my brother and said, hey, are you doing basketball tonight? I just wouldn't have done that. You yeah. know, um, I would have been terrifying to me. Um, how do you overall, and, and I don't know if you're like me, like even when I was overweight, I was like, I guess I still am. When I was much heavier, I was like, man, I'll still go play the thing. I just felt like garbage afterwards, right? Like yeah. I did not feel good. Um, how are your knees and joints feeling being, I don't know, what are you like 40 or 50 pounds lighter right now? Yeah, no, I am, I am 53 Pounds lighter now. Yeah. That's like a slow golf clap. Like, yeah. Oh and I clap really loud, but then they'll get mad at me. Yeah. Post. Yeah. Just right here for the yeah. editor. Um, no. So they, after basketball, they feel great. And the other thing that I did recently um, with Chris, I went, we went skiing. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You went skiing. I went skiing. And I, and that's not one that I do every day. Um, but like skiing was something I, you know, growing up, my dad, Taught me, taught me to ski from a very young age and yeah. I always loved it and I always just I just love to just go straight down that mountain as fast as possible oh you go french fries all the way down the mountain uh, I mean unless Ooh, it's some, me. um, unless there's moguls pizza wedge kind of guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm french fries french fries all the way down unless it's uh, unless there's moguls and there's a lot more a lot of different positions to try and get down those moguls um but so it was very fun to kind of I mean it was not a very great ski day it was like raining and stuff it was a weird day yeah but like it was it was exciting for me because I I 
that was something I didn't stop doing, even at my heaviest. Um, if my dad came to town and invited me to go skiing, I would go. And the difference was, is what you just said, joints and like body were just broken after like two or three runs um, yeah. before. Um, and I wasn't able to be a good dad because I couldn't really, I didn't have the strength to really ski myself and teach my kids. So my, my dad, who's like, you know, an older guy was off teaching my kids how to ski. So I was missing out on memories there for sure. And like, that was something I just couldn't do. And now it's like, I went with Chris and I got a, a ton of runs in. Um, and the only thing that actually stopped me was that I actually was skiing too crazily and I hurt myself a little bit, oh, sure. uh, some tumbles. Right. But like, but even then like that pain was nothing compared to the way I would have felt, you know, 53 pounds ago. Yeah, um, that's really so yeah. Cool. Um, how did you feel afterwards? Cause I've noticed that, that being a little bit more healthy, my recovery is a little better. Oh, the next day I was fine. Oh, was look fine. at this guy loses 53 pounds. You're like, I was fine. <laughs> I can yeah. do it again now. If I wanted. Yeah. And I got a third thing that, that I am doing, but I want to hear from Paulina first. I feel like I've been talking too much. You have been talking a lot, but that's because I asked you a question, so it's yeah. totally okay. Yeah. But I actually want to hear from Paulina as well, because when I first met Paulina, and I'm going to come back to your third thing. If I forget, <laughs> don't let me forget. Don't let me forget. Um, when I first met Paulina, like I knew that she was super passionate about dancing. Um, she used to go out dancing, and maybe you still do. I don't know. Um, but one of my favorite things about Paulina is she just confessed something to Marshall and I. That the thing that you do now that oh. you didn't used to do is what? And you, wait, hang on. And she enjoys it. Is what? I enjoy lifting. Lifting. Mm -hmm. Man, that's Dang. awesome. So strong. Come, you, what you're, can I say? Paulina is quite strong. Um, I love watching her in the gym. She's very inspiring to watch. Um, she is growing into to a, a goddess of a person, and she just goes in there and owns the gym, which is really dope. Um, talk to me a little bit about uh, why you love lifting. I, I love watching my body do hard things. And you mentioned the dancing. I stopped doing that uh, for a bit because I spent more time in the gym now and I go to bed early Yeah. and dancing ends up being a Little night activity night. Yeah. and you end up being a very late and I would rather put in the time and the hard work in the gym, especially right now. But I do, I love watching my muscles grow, especially my leg muscles. I was going to say, are very show impressive. me leg muscle. Every, like, I love showing once everyone. Once she's like, look at this muscle. Look at this muscle. Yeah. My favorite part of my body. And I, it's painful, but I love oh, watching yeah. myself uh, push and lift harder and harder. And I love just dropping the weights afterwards. When, if I drop them on, on the floor, that was a good, good lift. So, yeah. so talk to people a little bit because when you when you started your journey, you weren't really a weightlifter. No. Right? Um, and you've kind of transitioned into that. So if somebody's yeah. listening and they're like, oh, I want to be super strong like Paulina. I want the leg muscle that I can show off. Um, how do you recommend kind of transitioning into becoming a weightlifter? How do you learn to love that? Yeah, I think that pushing past the what you think you can do. Okay. And... I, I've always known that I'm, I'm strong, but I was not educated in how to weight, properly weightlift. And that is something that Chris has taught me and both you and Ryan have assisted with coaching me on that as well. But I think it has to do a lot with um, your endurance and really mastering that because this is also a mind game and it's also controlling your mind and your strength. And would have helped a lot too that I was not, I had no knowledge about and was not taking were the supplements too. Mm. And those have helped a lot. And uh, I mix pre-workout and the pump and that helps me push harder too because the pump helps with endurance. Do you hear that? Look at her dropping terms, <laughs> pre-workout, pump. Um, Anyone can do it. Yeah. You can do it. Sure. I, and I, one of the things I love about weightlifting as well is like saying, Listen, I have a starting spot, whatever that starting spot is. And then it does become a mental game because your, your objective is to tear that muscle so it will grow, right? Yeah. And so you have to decide, is that going to be heavier weight? Is that going to be more reps? Is it a combination of both? Um, for those who, who don't know, Ryan and I talked about it at nauseum, I think, um, as does Chris, and maybe you guys have too. But um, tracking, right? Like when you're, when you're beginning to work out, um, 
tracking is super duper important, right? And, and I shouldn't even say when you're beginning. I still, I still do it. And there's probably people all over the world that do it all the time. But for me, it's a, it's a constant mental game. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, today I'm either going to break the number of reps I do or the weight that I do. Something's going to change in my workout to help me get to that next level of where I want to be. Um, so that, that, that side of it's really, really cool. That mental game of self-mastery of, of getting to where you think your wallet is and then freaking pushing that thing over and be like, here yeah. we go. We're going next level. Um, talk to me a little bit, Pauline, about what it's like, because you mentioned me and Ryan, um, and working out with Marshall a little bit and with Chris a little bit. Yeah. Um, when we go to Chris's house, there's frequently other people up there that mm-hmm. I would call, um, you know, our workout buddies or partners. Um, what is, how does it feel to join this whole new community of like, weightlifters or worker outers, people who just go to the gym, right? There's like a different terminology, you have different levels of respect potentially for people. Um, how does it feel to be part of this thing where you can walk up to somebody now and say, I mean, you've been doing it for multiple months. Even, even at the beginning of your journey, when things weren't going quite as planned, you were still showing up and working out. Mm-hmm. Um, like, congratulations, you guys are bodybuilders, right? Maybe you don't have a card that says you're a bodybuilder, but you are people who go to the gym. How does that feel? It feels very good. I love the support system that we have that um, that we get to experience when we go to Chris's house. There are multiple people there and they are there for that same goal. Yeah, we all have different areas of improvement with our health and bodies, but we're there for the same thing. Mm-hmm. And it's to push harder and get stronger and healthier and fit because we want to live a long life. And I love the, that support. I love when we get to work at Bucked Up and you and Ryan are there and your wives are there and your kids are there sometimes and it's great. And that it's not something that you get at a regular gym sometimes. Yeah. I go to Vasa. I've been going to Vasa a lot lately and I miss I miss the support system, my support system. Yeah. And that is one of the things that I enjoy the most when I work out with Chris. Aside from my great sweaty workout that Chris is going to put me through, but also that support system and you're always greeted so, so nice and everybody's so friendly and they're there to support you. And that is something that I am grateful for this journey to have those people there. That's really cool. Yeah. I I will say like for me early on, that amount of support was kind of uncomfortable. Like I wasn't used to that. Like, like Mm -hmm. I kind of felt like, Oh, like, Oh, good for you, chubby guy. We're going to get you healthy. Right. You know? Um, but then I quickly, re- I, I, I started watching and I realized that's just the way they are with everyone. Yeah. Right. All of them are encouraging each other and pushing each other. And it's such just a really fun thing to just kind of lifting each other up. Mm-hmm. So I, uh, that has been a really fun thing. Yeah. Uh, and that's a really intriguing point about, uh, working out not only by yourself, but with a, with a buddy, right. I always recommend, um, trying to work out with a buddy when you're doing super heavy stuff. So you don't, get hurt. Yeah. Um, but there will be frequently be times where somebody that, that may know more than you, right. will come up and be like, if you just tweak your form just a little bit, yeah. you'll either pull in a different muscle, you'll see a different gain. Um, and so I think that's one of my favorite things about the community as a whole is that generally they're very giving people, right. Um, we used to work out with the fellow over at the, at the gym that Ryan and I go to there bucked up that, um, was a massive individual, just huge. Um, and I would frequently ask him, I'd be like, Hey, I'm like trying to do this thing. What should I do? And he would give me the tips and advice. And it's just kind of a cool community because everybody's trying to find a different level of, of self mastery, um, and get to whatever their next level is. So I think that's my favorite, uh, one of my favorite things I'm intrigued. And I want to circle back Marshall to your thing. Number three that you yeah. teased us with, uh, the thing number three that I've been doing a lot more of that I wasn't doing before because of my weight sleeping, um, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sleeping. Oh, <laughs> I sleep way better now. I, oh, I, I will say I do sleep better, but I still have to wake up at 5 a.m., you know, so it's like... Get to. Get to wake up I get up to wake up at 5 a.m. Um, the one thing I've been doing is I've been I've been connecting a lot more. I've been reaching out to old friends, um, and I've been reaching out to new friends, and, make, and just, I've been much more comfortable doing that. Um, I think psychologically, I just, you know... That 50 pounds has just really opened up a, a new version of me that really feels confident and and comfortable being around people. I didn't want to talk to old friends as much. I didn't want them to see the the person I'd become, right? Yeah. I was embarrassed of it. Um, and now, even though I still have a, a ways to go on my journey, um, and really the journey never ends, um, I, I'm, I'm confident in the trajectory I'm on that it makes me just feel safe and excited to kind of show people this new side of me. Yeah, no, I love that. It is something that definitely opens doors for you. Um, A lot of things for me became much easier, right? Our family valued travel quite a bit. um, So traveling became easier. Um, 
reaching out to friends, being able to help wherever possible, um, you know, even throughout my journey, even right when I was down 30 or 40 or 50 pounds and people began to notice changes. Um, it's intriguing to see people come and say like, Hey, what are you doing? Like, how can I do something? And, and, and I've always said this and I will still continue to say this. The only reason I went through all my breakthroughs, well, not the only reason, but was to make sure I could help somebody else. Um, I was filmed and you guys are being filmed. And I think at the end of the day, Paulina, you've gone and you've gone through some amazing transformations and you've actually opened up quite a bit to the world. Um, and I know at first it was very difficult for you, um, but you guys are helping people do things and, and understand things and help other people find ways because of your willingness to share your experience with people, which is really, really cool and really neat. Um, what else do you guys kind of have planned? Like closing thoughts. What, what's in your future that you're eyeing that your weight didn't allow you to do? previously that you're looking forward to doing? Um, you want to go first or me? I'll go first. Okay. Uh, two things. One, I want to learn how to swim. Okay. Wait, do you know how to swim or not know how to swim at all? I don't know how to swim at all. Okay. Fantastic. I used to be allergic to chlorine and that ruined my childhood. Yeah. Oh, that's difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you want to learn to swim? I want to learn how to swim, even though I do not comprehend how water, something so light can hold up a body, but whatever. And two, I want to skydive. Okay. And that Very is something cool. that I never thought I could because I thought, no, there's no way I will die from a heart attack. Yeah. You're so you, you were concerned about your health, about being so like such an adrenaline junkie, you were going to have a heart attack. Yep. Yep. Cool. And it's so we're going to keep pushing I'm, you on I'm, that treadmill then to get that heart rate up. Yeah. I have mastered the stair stepper, actually. <laughs> you are very good at the stair stepper. I am now doing like level 18. Before 18. health journey, I couldn't get past level four. That's awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Dang. Thank you. That's, awesome. That's why your legs look great, right? That's why my legs are great. There you go. So you dropped two, so I'll drop two. Um, my uh, number I one. Said, I specifically I'm drop, said, I'm specifically I'm gonna, said I'm gonna drop one. three. I want to drop three. You guys I'm, I'm, I'm a little competitive. Drop three, um, Marshall. No. <laughs> No, no, no. So one, one is fast. It's the, it's the, it's the a wind tunnel. Um, oh, yeah. I'm not going to jump out of a plane. This is never going to happen. Marshall wants a safer fall just um, in case. It's going to yeah. happen together. We're both going to go will, skydiving. I, I refuse. I really won't. I, Ooh, it, Ooh it's, challenge. It's, it's actually, notes. We were it's, taking notes for it's, skydiving. It's, 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 listen, it's not a fear thing at all. It's 100%. I will never die falling out of a plane and smashing into the ground if I never jump out of one. So I, it's, it's completely practical. Um, I'm actually not afraid of heights. I can stand over cliffs, but I will not jump out of a plane. Um, the second yeah. one is, yeah. is a more sentimental one. I'm really looking forward to backpacking with my kids. Yes. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. So, guys, hopefully sometime soon, we're going to see Paulina swimming, Marshall backpacking with his kids. Do you guys think this is going to happen? We're going to have to wait and see. 